Hello everyone. Welcome to HappyMath.com. So this time the topic is analyzing two-tail hypothetical testing using Excel spreadsheet. So please look at the example. So many people live in New Jersey and work in New York City. Sophia wants to find out how many minutes New Jersey residents spend going to work in New York City. So based on her observation, she claims she claims the average commuting time is about 80 minutes. Is there enough evidence to reject her claim? Using alpha equal to 0 0.10, analyze her claim. Okay. So obviously, it is not two-tailed. The reason is the sentence doesn't include any inequality phrases, right? So it shows that she claims the average commuting time is about 80, which means it is kind of equal to 80, basically. So it will be our null hypothesis, because the null hypothesis always include equal sign. So I can write here, view equal to 80, and that's our claim. Okay. Then the alternative hypothesis will be not equal to 80. So mu is not equal to 80. Okay. So this is our hypothesis setting. Then now look at the example and the analyzing this hypothesis testing. So open the uh, data and then data analysis and then find out t test assuming unequal variance. That's what you, was used for this case. And then the variable run, run range means all sampling data. And the variable two range means the population. Okay. So this time I make about three eighties here. And where does eighty come from? Because um, the claim was based on eighty. So eighty we set up as a population. Okay. And you can make uh, more, but I think three may be enough. That's why I only set up three of them. Okay. Then now, uh, I'm going to label it because I include also title here. And this time, alpha equal to 0.10. So I switch 0.10. And then I'm going to see the our output on the same window. So I may uh, organize it right here. Then now we see here, right? Okay. Then now we don't need the last column, so I'm going to delete it. Uh, then also I rename that one sample with two tail test. Okay. Now, there are two ways to evaluate that. One is using p value, the other one, our t statistic value. Okay, so please go to p-value first. Our p-value, as you see, we have two different things. Um, here and then here, right? But this time we will use two-tail, which means you are selecting this value instead. Okay? Now, alpha. Our alpha was equal to 0 0.10. Okay. Now compare our statistic value and then our alpha value. Which one is greater? Yes. P is greater. So therefore, we can just say that fail to reject HO. Okay. Then now, we will also analyze based on t statistic value. So I'm going to copy this table and then move into the whiteboard and we can analyze it. I also draw the graph and then I can show you better. So this time I'm going to analyze two value, which is t statistic value and then t critical, t critical two tail value right here. Okay. 
So give me a second so I can move to the whiteboard. So as you see, this is the two tail test. So when I drew the graph, I need to set up based on this value, located negative 1.68 and then also 1.68 and center become our HO and then two tail become half HA and then another half HA. Now I'm going to bring our T statistic value here. So T equal to 0.59. Okay. Then now analyze it. Where this values belongs to? In HA or HO or this HA? Yeah, obviously it is not smaller than negative 1.68. So it is not belong to this area. Of course, it is not also greater than 1.68, so it is not true either. So now we can say uh, t equal to 0.59 is belongs to HO, which means HO is correct. In other words, we cannot reject the HO. So now we can conclude fail to reject. HO basically. Okay? Then let's go back to Excel more. I Excel again and then conclude our uh, analysis. So based on our p-value test, we failed to reject HO and also t-test also failed to reject HO. And then claim was on HO. Therefore, now we can conclude there is not enough evidence to reject the claim. So it means um, what just um, Sophia estimate it is basically correct. Okay, so that's all for today. And I really hope this video helps you how to analyze two-tail case of the hypothesis testing using access spreadsheet. And then as usual, I will see you with a different video later. All right, thank you. Bye.